Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizzie, and for today's video, I am finally watching Midsummer. I know I am behind on this one. I probably feel like the last person on the planet to watch this film, but I finally decided to sit down and watch it. I've been lucky enough not to really have it spoiled too much for me. Um, the reason mainly that I put this one off for so long is just the length of the film itself. This film is over two hours long and that is just a lot of time to sit through a movie. I mean it's not the first time I've ever done that and I've done that with films generally in the theaters not so much watching them at home. Um, so I'm giving this one a shot. I'm just doing this almost like a come with me style video. So this is me chatting with you before I see the film. I'm about to sit down and watch it. I'm watching it on Amazon Prime so it is available to watch on there if you also have not seen it. And yeah, I'll be right back to let you know my thoughts. Okay, so I just finished with watching Midsummer, and let's start with my expectations, I guess, going into this film. I was trying to keep them middle level. I wasn't trying to have too high of expectations or too low of expectations. I was just kind of trying to keep it right there in the middle of what I was expecting to get out of this film or my level of enjoyment for this film. I'm sure I've talked about this on my channel before, but when it comes to A24 films, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan. They have really hit or misses for me. There are some films that I really enjoy. Uh, most of their kind of non-horror films, I feel like. When it comes to horror, the only thing that I can really think of is Hereditary, which of course was done by the same director, writer, believe that did this one, Ari Esther, and so, and obviously like there was a lot of hype around this film when it initially came out, and even after there are a lot of people that really love this film, and there are people that I know are on the other spectrum of it that find it a meh film. Me personally, probably somewhere right in the middle I would say. I feel like I relate to Danny a lot, not necessarily in the horrific things that happened to her in the beginning of the film, like her family situation, but as far as her relationship goes, I know what that feels like. We'll just put it that way. I know what it feels like to be with someone that treats you like that, and I know what it feels like to just be that kind of person where you feel like you're constantly an annoyance and constantly feeling the need to apologize to not only your significant other but kind of the people around you and feeling that guilt. Um, yeah, I know what it feels like to be made to feel like that. Um, and so watching those moments and those scenes was definitely pretty hard um, and I felt for Danny through all this film. This is definitely a good for her film. I 100% agree. Uh, I'm gonna add that to my list. If you don't follow me on Letterboxd, I have a list of good for her horror films. I also did a video about that. Uh, so I'm gonna have to add the, but I hadn't seen this one, so I'm definitely gonna have to add it to the list. Uh, and I definitely agree there. Um, and do not feel bad for those characters, especially her shitty, shitty boyfriend by the end of this film. I just... I guess it's the lack of horror in this film, as much as I hate to say that, because, I mean, I made a whole entire video on the topic and the subject of debating whether or not something that is labeled horror is horror, and if people view something as horror, good for them. It's just, this film had some moments, um, there were definitely some dark moments in the film, but I feel like for the most part, 
And don't get me wrong, psychological films can definitely be horror, psychological thrillers, but it didn't even feel like a psychological thriller in the sense of... But it didn't even really feel like a psychological thriller as maybe strange as it seems to say because I feel like when it comes to psychological thrillers those tend to be more in the range of films where you're like is this stuff really happening is the character just kind of crazy um this one was just I don't know it was it went from like an abuse of love film to like a weird cult situation but with Danny still being like mixed in at all. It's just very strange. I just feel like they could have maybe done more and made it a little bit darker. I especially for a film that's two and a half hours and I just kind of felt more like I was watching it just to see what happened next um, and just to see how it ends. Now I did say in the beginning of the film the film wasn't really spoiled for me and I still agree. I kind of knew what happened in the end. Not exactly, like I knew that she got revenge uh, in some sort of way. I knew that the boyfriend does eventually die. So I was kind of like waiting for that moment while watching this and I thought that it was gonna be more intense. I, it was part of this whole ritual. It was gonna happen inevitably, but I thought that Danny would have more of her own part in this. She obviously chooses to let her boyfriend be killed, and again, good for her, but I don't know, I just thought she would have more of a physical hand in that, and I guess that's just on me for having that expectation, but I don't know, I didn't hate the film. I think a lot of people went into this initially with far too high of expectations. I think that can definitely ruin a horror film, especially when people are like obsessing over it. it happens so much when we get these big budget horror films that come out, especially this coming following Hereditary, which a lot of people really, really loved. And that was another film that, like I said, I enjoyed it, but I'm not like in love with that film either. I would say that I probably loved that one more than this one. I just think this one I just think this one was okay. I enjoyed it for what it was. I probably, if anybody asked me, yes, I would probably be like, yeah, it's a good film. Definitely, if you're putting it off, go ahead, watch it if you've got two and a half hours. But I'm not in love with it. I'm, like I said, I'm right in that middle area, I feel like, of the people that either love or hate this film. I'm just somewhere in the middle. I don't think it was a waste of my time. I'm glad that I finally watched it and I definitely, at the end of the day, I really like Danny. Again, kind of relating to her and feeling for her. Uh, they played on that a lot and I think that can also say something for how you react to this film. I think that if you can find an emotional connection to a character like Danny, that can definitely maybe bring something more out of the film for you and if you don't relate to that or any of the characters or and not even necessarily personally but I mean you can know someone that's been through things like that and if you just don't I mean the likelihood of knowing someone who's been in an abusive relationship is very high but just if you don't relate to certain things it could take away and that could be that way for any film really so yeah, that's just my thoughts on the film. I thought it was an okay film. So let me know what your thoughts are on this one. If you did enjoy this, please do give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button for more horror related content. And before I go, a quick shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for helping to contribute to the channel. If you want to help support a small creator like myself and find out what perks you get to being a Patreon, links are in the description below along with all of my social media. And I'll see you guys again later with another video. Bye.